Hello everyone. In today's Sense of Profile remake, we're gonna be doing this. Smilodon. Not one, but three of them. Smilodon Fatalis. Populatar. And. Smilodon Gracilis. They lived in the early Pleistocene to the early Holocene. 2.5 to 10,000 years ago. Meaning, they coexisted with humans. Speaking of which, Smilodon has always been called Sabertooth Tiger, commonly. And I mean quite often. This is incorrect. Smilodon belonged to the subfamily of Americantodonte. Smilodon gracilis was the smallest species, an ancestor that gave rise to S. fatalis and populatar. Estimated at 55 to 100 kilograms, 120 and 220 pounds in weight, about the size of a jaguar. It was similar to its predecessor, Macarid. Megatarion of the same size, but its dentition and skull was more advanced. S. Fatalis was about one meter high at the shoulder, and its estimated range from 160 to 280 kilograms, 350 to 620 pounds. And the largest Smilodon populatar 
at 220 to 436 kilograms, 485 to 960 pounds in weight, and 120 centimeters and 47 inches in height. It was among the largest known felids. Here are the sizes of the species in a human. smaller dots prey. They would have hunted large mammals like bison and tinquis, camelops, and small dot fatalis may have occasionally preyed on glyptotherium based on a skull of a juvenile glyptotherium that was recovered from Pleistocene deposits in Arizona and it indicates that the predator successfully bit into the skull through the glyptodonts armored. And as for small duck gracilis, fed on peccary and Hemonocania, an extinct species of llama. As for small duck populatar, prey include toxodon, Armadillos, Paleolama, ground sloths, and even horses, and caiman as well. Now, they would have had to use ambush to catch their prey. They couldn't do long distance run because their legs and their limbs are short. Can't run for long periods of time. They had to catch their prey by surprise. Once they did, they would have to wrestle it to the ground and deliver the blow to bite at the throat of that animal with its fangs. Now, it's not known if they hunted in groups like lions or solitary like tigers or they hunted as a mated pair
Now, they would have faced competition from other predators. Spawdon Gracilis would have competed with Titanus, Canis Edwardii, Brophagus, Lesser Shortfaced Bear, and Xenosmilus, an American cheetah, for S. Vitalis would have competed with American Lion, Arctodus Simus, Dire Wolf, American Cheetah, and Homotherium. S or S Populator would have competed with Homotherium, well, that never became widespread in South America. Arctotherium, Jaguars, Protoscyon, and even Pumas. But, Smilodon Populator has never met the Thylacosmilids and Forced Rockets. And, and competed with other S. Populator, which there are fossils of S. Populator with its skull biting on the other one. They would have fight for territory or for mates. Thank you for watching, like and subscribe and see you later guys.